Hi, I'm Jeremy Parrish, co-host of the Retronauts podcast. I love classic games, I love portable games, and I love the fact that Nintendo Switch brings the two together in a great and accessible way. But there's one thing that would make classic gaming on the Switch even better, and that would be a portable vertical gameplay mode. That's why I've teamed up with my friends at Fangamer and engineer Mike Choi to create Flipgrip. A simple Switch grip that allows you to play classic games in vertical mode. We wanted to create a simple, easy way for people to play vertical-oriented games without wasting a single pixel of the Switch's screen. It had to be just as convenient as playing the Switch by itself. After months of prototypes, we arrived at this solution. We designed the flip grip to allow for one orientation of the console, exposing the card slot and the headphone jack. You've probably noticed that it covers a few of the air vents, but here's why that's not a problem. The flip grip does not create an airtight seal around your console, so air is still flowing into every vent even the ones that seem covered. We've run tests with and without the grip installed, and there's no appreciable difference in temperature, even with intensive games like Breath of the Wild. We designed the flip grip to only operate in battery mode. You cannot charge or dock your switch while the flip grip is installed. So that means your console will never run at full power, which keeps the heat and airflow nice and manageable. It's stronger and more affordable than anything you could 3D print on your own. Plus, it's durable enough to withstand the anger you may feel while playing a vertical shooter. A lot of old arcade games flipped their giant CRT displays to be taller than they were wide. Because of this, the Switch in vertical mode is a perfect home to experience them in their originally intended glory. But we don't want the flip grip to be just for classic games. We hope developers, whether they're porting old classics or new indie titles, like the flip grip as well. And we hope that you like it too. The hard part for us, engineering, testing, and prototyping, it's already done. All that's left now is to raise the funds we need to put the flip grip into production. And that's where you come in. Thanks for watching. 